Hedges have a long history that dates back thousands of years. The use of hedges can be traced to ancient civilizations, and they have served various purposes throughout different time periods and cultures. From ancient Egypt, where the hedges were used as boundaries and enclosures, to ancient Rome, where the Romans used advanced techniques for hedge cultivation, shaping them into intricate patterns and designs, Hedges were used to demarcate property boundaries, control livestock, and create privacy screens throughout history. This leads me to why we chose to put in a hedge as our boundary and not a fence. In short, it is better for the environment, adds more greenery, which improves happiness, helps carbon sequestration, a good windbreaker, good for the wildlife like birds, and hopefully gives us a good smell of flowers when it blooms. Although my past videos have been cutting down trees, the purpose behind this was to allow us to plant a solid hedge to create security and privacy from the road for our family. And no, it was not to keep the animals out. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. So in this video you can watch me plant 38 hedges um, for the front yard to give us privacy and screening from the main street. Since come down the two big trees and another third up there, all the chainsawing videos on my channel probably think he hates the environment. No, I love the environment, but to grow these hedges, they did need some full sunlight uh, and um, I wasn't going to get it with big trees towering over. So hedge is going to give us privacy, 38 going in. Okay, I'm just marking out our fence boundary. So we're planting Viburnum tinus, I think that's how you say it. It's a species uh, of flowering evergreen shrub native to the Mediterranean region. It's pretty hardy and it's very dense, uh, which will be great protection for our front yard. Um, it grows to two to three meters high and also similar width and has a dark green uh, leathery leaf, glossy texture. That also produces small white or pale pink flowers and clusters that bloom from late winter to early spring. So I started digging using the post hole digger, uh, which I just twist from side to side. This is fine when you're only doing a couple of holes. I wanted to see how easy this would be, um, and then found out that it was going to take forever if I continued to do this. So I ended up buying a petrol post hole digger, waiting for that to come to do the rest of the holes. Um, but glad I tried, and then thinking, working smarter, not harder. Four minutes and four and a half minutes to do that one <laughs> and I need to make it a bit wider as well this one had all the roots from this tree <sighs> 30 more to do uh, we also decided to bring um, the holes or the hedges back here so I've got to recount them there's a few more Oh, there's a few more now um, so we'll come right around wrap around and then we're going to build a deck here um, and put a gate in so that this will be fully enclosed there'll be the cubby up here a nature play area down there um, and maybe a few games of mini golf for for me and for my daughter as well so now i'll be looking that's looking already pretty good looking a bit messier to be honest but sometimes you gotta take a step back before you can take a step forward. Because of the roots were so, there's quite a few roots, particularly once you get around the trees, um, and just this manual thing, and I've got to do about 40 of them. I'm just gonna buy a post digger, because I'll need to do another post for the deck when it comes out. There'll be a couple of posts there. I've got 40 of these. I could hire it for like 100 bucks in a day. But the reality is there'll probably be a few trees, extra trees I want to plant and some fruit trees. So yeah, I'll just get a post, post digger. Post digger's here. This is it. Oh. And then I've got the, the attachment in uh, another box. And besides for the uh, poor grammar in the, the manual, uh, I'm going to put it together. So my daughter came to help me put the handles on. Um, she was actually a big help being able to hold it still so I can get the bolt through the hole and then tighten uh, the lock nuts using the tools provided. Right, 
Excited! It actually came all done. We just needed to bolt these handles on. Now's it. Um, and they've got like lock nut bolts, which is good. So the auger part to go and then ready to use it. I've attached the base, which is actually just one pin bolt. It was actually very easy. Now the fuel is 25 to 1. It's pretty accurate. So it's got levels. This came with it. And then I've got some two stroke oil. To one part oil. Bit of a mix. Okay, so cold up. And then once it's running, choke lever run down. They'll have a pump here to pump the fuel through. So nothing's in the system. There we go. Now we've got fuel in there. Got that on cold run. There's the on off switch here. Throttle is just underneath, which is easier. And it's a pull start. Take out the front now and give it a go. It's a bit of effort to uh, start it the first time, but now it's going. Should be a lot easier. The post hole digger was very easy to use, easy to put together and it came pretty quickly. Uh, for only $244 it saved me a lot of time, really really happy with it, I'm going to hang on to it for any future holes I need to dig. That's it, 38 holes, 9 minutes. Okay, these are the holes, just plenty for the hedge we've got going in all the way around coming up my wife told me not to do that one so that's a her gate's gonna go here apparently ten minutes and I've dug all those holes going right around could have been a whole day by hand this is something I bought catch of the day not really, I don't even think it's a well-known brand, Giants, 80cc, works perfectly. It kicked a little bit when I hit a few stones. Um, soil's pretty good here, it's not too hard. But, oh, that was exceptional. There we go, go. Then we're off to the next one, but I need to water that. I want to give a little water. That's not going to get down very far. So I'll just go back and water the other ones a bit. Hopefully that doesn't get too much of a shock. And these puppies will grow.
So it's been about a week now. They've been in the stall surviving, which is the good thing. Um, and they're looking, and they've come up really great. That's this week's episode. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you next time. Bye.